this is how I play the game! Sound good? I was completely blown away by the stupidity of stuff going on behind the scenes that I have no part of and have no knowledge even of, um, at all. I know you're lying. And finally got, uh, kind of semi-informed about what was going on as I joined stream chat today to start the stream. I was like, huh? I'm the most clueless one of all of you. Because <laughs> as you guys know, I don't, I don't partake in drama or nonsense or the bullshit that these morons on the internet tend to make up around me. WHY AM I TOXIC?! They basically just take shit and make it up about me, and then I hear about it later, and I'm like, huh? And 99% of the time I'd ignore it, but in this case, I guess it got blown up to the point where someone who has been a long-standing, uh, you know, fan and or ally of mine, a mod, got fooled or whatever by what's been going on. Um, so I'm gonna address it briefly just to explain it. So what's been going on with the nonsense and the drama behind the scenes, let's address it, alright, since some people are so confused now, including apparently one of my long-time moderators now has basically mind-fucked himself. But I just gotta shake my head and be like, I don't know why people listen to any of this shit. You gotta listen to me and not listen to the people who spin what I say. If you're any older than, like, f five years old or have the maturity of anyone past, like, a grade school level, you would realize how stupid this shit is. It's just so dumb. Seriously. Um, at this point, it's just so ridiculously stupid. I'm not a whiny baby. I'm a mature adult. And that's why I don't bother myself with it. I ignore it. But now... I come in, let me just give you some uh, some perspective here, all right? As you guys know, I've uh, announced a few weeks back that I have a girlfriend. My girlfriend, it's it's Darth Redivan Viking with a wig. And she came and stayed with me and spent about five days, I want to say, in early December with me. We had our Christmas celebration. We, we put up my Christmas tree. Uh, we decorated the house. I showed her putting ornaments uh, on our Christmas tree. We went around to different stores and stuff, all kinds of different stuff. It was a very nice visit. And, you know, it sucks that she can't be, she couldn't be here with me during the real Christmas because she had to work and I had to work. But, you know, she doesn't live here in Seattle. So for her to take time off to come and spend time with me for our own kind of private Christmas celebration in early December was really nice. It was a really special thing and it went down really well. Now, here's the thing. I'm not revealing any private information about my girlfriend because look what happened with my ex. All the private information got out there. People went out and did horrendous things to her and me. They attacked us, they attacked my family, they attacked her family, they even swatted my ex-girlfriend's dad. Alright, it's fucked up. It really is fucked up. And the bottom line is, ever since I announced that I have a girlfriend, people are going absolutely nuts trying to get information about it. It's gross. Alright? It's absolutely gross. Look at this idiot right here. Again, another troll tip. You see what I mean? It's so dumb. Well, thank you for the troll tip. You are a moron. It's so hilarious, because this is the thing. They will, they will leave troll tips and shit on my streams. To try to get a message out, even though none of you could even read that. <laughs> and they actually pay me money to do this. That's how dumb these people are. All right. But anyway, they've been desperately, desperately trying to get information about my girlfriend ever since I mentioned she existed. All right. Now, here's the thing. These are the same people who've been trying to ruin my life. They swatted me. They DDoS attacked me. They put false copyright strikes against my YouTube channels. They completely spam my my email as well as my physical mail with junk mail. Uh, they send pizzas to my house. They prank call me. They fucking uh, alert, uh, you know, tax agencies about me uh, saying that I don't pay my taxes. They do every possible thing. These are people who, earlier this year, when I was trying to get with a new partnership company after leaving Machinima, basically trolled the fuck out of the partnership company and attacked them, and so the partnership company dropped the offer they had for me. Literally at every moment, these people just want to ruin my life. And that's the only reason they do this, all right? I'm not a whiny baby. So, they knew that I was in a bad state because of my tax situation, because I announced it a few weeks back, and now they know that they have, that I have a girlfriend, and I'm not going to reveal any information about her because I don't want her to be hurt like, you know, my ex-girlfriend basically was, all right? I've learned from my mistakes. So what they've done is completely fabricated a whole situation here, all right, around what's going on with, what the fuck? I just got a copyright claim against Sonic Mania Part 4. <laughs> which is the chemical plan. A video clip claimed by Porta dos Fundos por Tudo e Distributa Audiovisual. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is a false claim. 
Alright, I'm pretty sure this is a pretty false fucking claim. What the fuck? That distracted the shit out of me. I'm going to have to dispute that claim later. I will save that email for later. Alright. So anyway. Yes. Anyway. These people. Alright. Have been trying to discredit me. Alright. They've been trying- not discredit me, but basically make me look bad. And first, they say, oh, the tax situation isn't true. Phil's just trying to raise money. It's not about the money. It's not. I'm not here to take a paycheck. He doesn't need the money for taxes. He's lying. Don't support Phil. The usual bullshit, right? The usual lies. Then, oh, Phil doesn't really have a girlfriend. Or, you know, first, first thing is, so, oh, if Phil has a girlfriend. She must be ugly. She must be, you know, nuts. She must be this or that. You know, then, then they, they move on. Basically, every possible evolution of uh, how to hurt Phil, how to make Phil look bad or whatever. These people are sick. They've actually become this mob mentality of sickness on the internet. And they don't want to admit to themselves that they're fucked up in the head. So they group together, they circle jerk each other, they try to support each other so that they all feel good about themselves, when in reality, this really is just a mob mentality of, of sickness, okay? My girlfriend, it's it's Darth Redovan Viking with a wig. Get it tonight, baby. Delicious. Oh my god, yes. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Oh god. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh. 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 Viking getting destroyed. He also likes anals. I'm gay, I'm gay, I'm gay, totally gay. So I talked about this uh, a couple weeks ago, and I said, apparently, the latest rumor, which is completely unsubstantiated and based on zero facts because there are no facts, is that apparently I don't have a girlfriend. What I did is I paid for an escort to come visit me uh, during this early week of December. I hired an escort. To come visit me during my Christmas break. I paid her thousands of dollars. And, you know, that's what it was. Phil could never get a girl. He paid for an escort. First of all, alright, this is so stupid. Because apparently this, the story, I guess what happened is there's some Twitter account out there pretending to be an escort that was with me this week or something. And Not that I read it or anything. I'm good at lying. <laughs> Because I basically this, I guess it was a Twitter account that as soon as I came back from time off started following me on Twitter and like liking every tweet that I did. And then all of a sudden this Twitter account, basically, it was obvious it was someone, it was one of these detractors who was watching all of my streams or whatever. Because I would mention something. For example, I, I specifically remember on a pre-stream someone said, hey Phil, what kind of games does your girlfriend like? And I specifically referenced, I said, I know she likes Assassin's Creed. She's been a lifelong kind of fan of the Assassin's Creed franchise and she's followed them since Assassin's Creed 1. She really likes the series. Immediately, this Twitter account posted up, I love Assassin's Creed. Here's a picture of Assassin's Creed. I'm playing Assassin's Creed. So basically, it's someone who's just listening to what I say on streams or pre-streams and then posts something up in response to it to make it seem like, oh, you know, I'm really the girl or the girlfriend. Phil doesn't have a girlfriend. I'm the escort. And, I, you know, uh, you know, and you look at all these things that I'm saying that are in line with what Phil has been saying. The interesting thing here, all right, is that she always, or I say she when it's probably a guy anyway. <laughs> Wow. You know, another catfish account. One of the one million times that this has happened since I've been on YouTube. But whoever this is... Obviously, is, is obviously someone who listens or watches my stuff and then immediately responds. All right? There you go. Um, so, they've been doing this for about two weeks. Making shit up and everything. Eventually, I got wind of it. Someone told me, Phil, you're aware that they're, like, referencing you every five seconds now on their Twitter account. I said, fuck this. It's so stupid. All right? So, I went ahead and blocked the Twitter account. Because I didn't want to deal with the stupid bullshit. I said, I don't even know who this person is. I don't know if they're, if they're a real person or not. If it's a catfish account or not. I don't care. I blocked it. So apparently since I blocked the Twitter account, this person isn't having their jollies anymore. They got all pissed off that I blocked the Twitter account. <laughs> so now, realizing that they're getting all this attention for pretending to be an escort that visited me, they now make up all this shit. Apparently now I owe them money. Which is hilarious because, again, I have to say this. I said this like two weeks ago. I'll say it again. If anyone actually understands, all right, if anyone actually understands how escorts work, you don't pay after the service is rendered. That's not how it works. Okay? Any high-end service, anything, you have to pay up front. It's that simple. That's how it works. There is no escort on planet Earth that will spend five straight days with someone and then expect, like, a payment plan afterward. They don't do fucking financing. They don't do easy pay. <laughs> You know what I mean? Not to say that I've ever had an escort, because I haven't, but it's common fucking sense. Silver-tongued talker, right? Oh, I'm just gonna say it one way, 
and hopefully you'll believe it, even though that's not the truth. And that's literally what's happening here. The guy's a liar. The guy's a fucking blatant liar and lying to everyone. But people are believing it because they don't know any better. How would you operate a business on people spending time with your escorts and then expecting them to pay over time later? That's not how it works. That's not reality, okay? So that being said, um, this is the stupidest thing ever. And the only people who would believe this story are gullible idiots. Why am I toxic? I'm sorry, if, if you believe this story with literally zero factual evidence of anything, there hasn't been a single piece of evidence whatsoever given about any of this that shows that any of it is real. You are a moron. More toxic, more toxic. You are looking for drama. You're a drama queen. For some reason, you love this shit, okay? And it's your own fault. It's your own fault that you've been either been duped or you've been fooled or whatever you're saying. If you actually believe any of this, it's your fault. There's no truth to any of it whatsoever, all right? That's going on, all right? And, you know, I talked about it. And, you know, I said I talked about this, I think it was two weeks ago on a pre-stream, and I explained all this, all right? And I was like, whatever, it's in the past. I'm not going to address it anymore. There's no reason. They're just going to keep making shit up, all right? They're just going to keep making shit up over and over and over. And it's, you know what I mean? It's just going to balloon and let the idiots believe what they want. And I'm going to be here on my streams every day having fun, playing games. And by the way, it hasn't negatively affected anything, if you guys aren't aware. Uh, you know, everything's been good. People have been showing up for streams and participating, and people have helped me out tremendously in the past couple weeks with contributions towards the tax situation and everything. So everything's been good, all right? So then, this particular week, coming up, I mentioned a couple days ago that I was going to be doing a fundraising stream on Saturday because this is kind of like the last push to try to get people to pledge to my Patreon so we can hit the monthly goal for this month and so that we can do these Metal Gear Solid events in January, all right? I really need... I need th that money. I really do. I need that money to pay my bills. The support right now because I need these funds by the end of January to pay with this impending tax bill is. So I'm trying to motivate people to pledge to my Patreon. In particular, that's really what this event is for, to get people to pledge, all right? So that being said, all right, I announced this event immediately, of course. Oh, God, Phil's going to do a fundraiser. We don't want Phil to be successful. We don't want Phil to be able to pay his taxes. We want him to lose his house and all this. So let's, let's see what's the next positive possible thing we can fucking do here, all right? Let's see what we can do. Uh, so again, you know, trying to make shit up. I saw things over the past couple of days. They really went in like hardcore. And I guess now they're posting on fucking things like, I, I don't even know. First of all, I don't even know what Kiwi Farms is. I'm just going to bring that up. I don't even know what it is. That's 100% a lie. I honestly don't know. I guess it's supposed to be like a drama-esque forums somewhere. I have absolutely no idea where this is or what it is. All right. But apparently this person, uh, someone, again, this person who had this Twitter account, claiming to be an escort, is now posting up on some Kiwi Farms thread. I have all this information on Phil. Here's what we did during our time off or whatever, you know, whatever. It's stupid shit. So apparently, there was a post. This, this is how stupid this is. All right, wait do you hear. You're not going to believe how stupid this is. Cause I can't believe how stupid this is. This is so dumb. Apparently, there's a post from this person claiming that during the time when this escort was staying with me, she made me her homemade recipe of Dutch brownies. Okay. Okay. Whatever. Um, so, the other day, um, I have someone who has been a longtime fan of mine and uh, a supporter and a moderator as well on various different things like my forums or my stream chat and stuff like that over the years. Okay, and this person has helped me out tremendously. In fact, sometimes they go behind the scenes of stuff going on with these people who seek to hurt me and gets inside information. So... This is a person who, I, you know, I trusted over the years. They've helped me out tremendously. There's been a few times when they caught stuff going on either on my forums or in stream chat or behind the scenes with people who are trying to do nasty shit to me. And they've helped me out tremendously. All right. Somehow this person allowed themselves to get sucked into the black hole of drama and bullshit. Okay. I don't know why, but they did. And apparently they're so skeptical. They're actually starting to at least be skeptical of this person who's claiming they're an escort that came and visited me in early December. Now you might even say to yourself, well, why, um... Why is it a big deal if Phil had an escort come and visit in December? Well, first of all, I'm against the practice. I've said this many times before. I've never in my life been a guy who's had an issue, uh, you know, with women. You have to be brain dead fucking stupid to believe that. That's 100% a lie. You know what I mean? Like, if I want to, to spend time with a woman, I have whatever you want to call it, whether it's charm or whatever, I'm able to, to, you know, get a woman and spend time with her. What? What? Now, I'm not saying that it has to be, you know, significant other or someone who I spend, you know, a long relationship with. Those things come few and far between. But I'm saying I've never had a problem with the ladies. Let's put it that way. I've never in my life paid for a woman I never would. 
Now, I'm sure there's people out there who do, and everyone's gonna have a different opinion, all right? For me, that's, like, ludicrous. That's actually against my personal philosophy. I would rather be alone. Seriously, I would rather be alone than pay for an escort. But the real reason why this is all controversial is because what, what the people who hate me are trying to spin this as is Phil doesn't have a tax situation. Phil doesn't owe taxes. Phil did not get screwed over by a tax attorney in Connecticut. He's literally making it up. He owes money to an escort. All right. There you go. He's <laughs> he's lying. So anytime that he's doing stuff to try to help himself, you know, to help here himself with the taxes, he's really raising money to pay the escort. All right. That's what the, 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 the idiots are trying to spin all this as. Even though it's literally 100% wrong. It's 100% fabricated. I know you're lying. So, that being said, you know, I announced I'm going to do this fundraising stream on Saturday. We have to go in all in on Phil. We have to prove, or, or at least, you know, not prove because there's nothing to prove, but we have to fool people into thinking that Phil had an escort and he's trying to pay the escort. Is that, that's what the fundraising stream is on Saturday. Right, that way people will not pledge and will not tip him and help him because with the tax situation. Maybe he'll lose his house and ha ha ha, we'll win in the long run, right? That being said, that this stupid whatever it is account, this fake escort account on Kiwi Farms, says that this girl baked me Dutch brownie, Dutch recipe brownies or something during our time off. Now, I didn't know any of this until this morning, okay? I wasn't aware any of this was going on because I don't follow any of this stupid shit. So apparently this post is like two or three days old. I don't know. So the other night, I get a, a private message from this moderator, this friend of my moderator who's helped me over the years with all kinds of things. He, he actually, you know, sends me PMs all the time. And I go back and forth with him about certain stuff. And he asked me, Phil, when your girlfriend visited you and she made you brownies, what was the recipe? I'm looking for a, like a recipe of brownies to make for myself here or something like that. Now, here's the thing, folks. I mentioned when my girlfriend was here that we had made these cookies. All right, and I'd actually taken a picture of it and put it up on Instagram. And I'm almost positive, in fact, I'm almost 100% positive, that after that, I made a post that said, we ate all the cookies, now we have to make something else. And then I'm almost positive that here, either in stream chat or on a pre-stream, either in, in the physical chat typing or on a pre-stream itself, I had mentioned that we had made brownies afterward. And that I would actually had leftover brownies to eat all week, you know, after my girlfriend had left, which is excellent because I never have baked goods. Like, I don't, I don't snack on sugary stuff at all. I'll eat it if it's there, but I don't actually buy it or seek it myself. So it was pretty awesome because a week after my girlfriend left, I was still eating these delicious brownies that we had made when she was here, all right? You know, I get this random message from someone who I trust as like a friend, a colleague, someone who's, you know, been very loyal to me over the years and helped me out tremendously with all these different things. And he asks, you know, Phil, what was the recipe for the brownies that you made with your girlfriend? And I, you know, it. I didn't even, you know, I didn't even... In, the, in my head at once, at any moment, think that this could have anything to do with anything. I'm just thinking it's some guy, I must have mentioned, you know, the brownies or whatever on a stream. And so I was very honest with him. I responded, I said, oh, you know, what well, actually wasn't any kind of a special recipe at all. We just went to the store and we bought a box of those uh, Ghirardelli uh, chocolate brownies, you know, the ones with the good, the good high level quality chocolate that you put into them or whatever. And we baked those, that's what we had. And then I even mentioned, but we actually, if you want a recipe, we made these really good chocolate espresso cookies. And they were really amazing. And he said, oh, well, what was that What was that recipe? And I said, well, I, I don't have it. She had it. She had the recipe, not me. But I know it was from Martha Stewart. Because Martha, I guess it was a, a page she had printed out from, like, the Martha Stewart website of, of recipes or whatever. I don't know. So there you go. So that was the, all I said in this private message to this guy who, again, for years and years, it's been years, this guy has been a, a fan of mine, a viewer, and he's helped me with out, out with stuff over the years, moderation and everything, tons of times. So that's all I said. So that's it. That's all I said. And that was it. That's the end of it. Um, so here I am, you know, going about my own business this morning, you know, not really paying attention to anything, quite honestly, just kind of, you know, okay, my usual stuff, let's go ahead and do the normal stuff, right, normal stuff every day that I usually do. Oh, the camera's on. This morning, I go inside my stream chat, and a million people are talking about brownies. I'm like, huh? What are we, what? What are we, what is going on? Why is everyone mentioning brownies today? I'm super confused. Like, what does this have to do with anything? And everyone's like, Phil, you don't know the drama that's happened overnight. It's exploded exponentially. The drama. Yo, the drama. You don't even know the drama. Dra and I'm like, oh my god. Ugh. It's Friday. I'm doing a full day of streaming today. I'm looking forward to it. All I want to do is sit down here and play games. And I got to hear about this. Now, normally, like I said, I wouldn't address it at all. But apparently this person, again, who I trusted as a, as a moderator and someone who, again, over the years, you know, has helped me tremendously, apparently took this private message, all right, that we had talked about and used this as evidence 
that I did have an escort here in early December. This is concrete evidence now. And finally, this person who had believed me all along was swayed to believe that I had an escort here in early December. Again, I didn't. I'm good at lying. <laughs> but here you go. It's, it's just insanity. It's literal. It's mob mentality insanity at this point. I, I don't even know what else to say. It's just so... Uh, let me put it this way. Let me, let me give you a frame of reference of why I think this is so ridiculous. Because the thing is, people have said ridiculous things about me over the years. They call me a pedophile. They call me a thief. They call me a scammer. They call me this. They call me that. Racist, right? Usually, usually, in all of these situations, these slanderous things that are said about me are based off of a snippet of truth. A tiny snippet. What and the, the rest fuck? of the board goes unselected. <laughs> right? For example, my ex-girlfriend was younger than me, and some people had issue with that. And they started making up stories about me being a pedophile, and I started dating her when she was 16. Ridiculous nonsense, and unsubstantiated, completely false. But they took that one fact that she was much younger than me, and spun that into the negative, right? Over the years, in my gameplay videos and streams, I've made generalized racist jokes and comedy about races. And by the way, I'm an equal opportunity jokester. I'll make fun of my own race, like Italians in particular, I've made jokes of many, many times over the years, okay? Just as much as I'll joke about Asians or anybody else, okay? But people will take that and say, Phil's a racist. Here's an example. Here's a joke he made about a race. He's a racist, right? So that's what they do. They take this little snippet of truth and they turn it into something inc incredibly slanderous and a lie, all right? In this case, seriously, in this case, there is 0% factual basis for it. It didn't happen at all. It didn't happen in any way, shape, or form. What I've told you about my girlfriend is true. This is someone who just by chance we met over the summer. Completely random encounter. There was no actual, you know, it wasn't pre-set up. It wasn't like we were actively seeking to find each other. We met each other, you know, clicked. It was something that grew into something beautiful. Over a course of months, we started seeing each other. It grew from there. We both had similar kind of life circumstances that had happened recently, and we clicked because of that to the point where our love grew, and it became like we're almost... We are. We're, we are, we're soulmates. I slap you with my e-penis. All right. And it sucks that I can't share those experiences with you. All right. I can't. I can't show those because, sadly... People will use that personal information to hurt her. I know they will. I'm not stupid. In fact, folks, you know, the whole thing here is there's there's two reasons why these people are doing this nasty stuff to me right now. Absolutely, the first reason is because, for example, they know I'm doing a fundraiser tomorrow. They don't want me to be able to raise any money. They want me to be a big failure, and no one pledges to me because they think that it's going towards an escort. All right? Even though it's not. It's a lie. It's going towards taxes. Um, but number two, they really want information about my girlfriend because they're nosy as fuck. These people are mentally challenged. They really have an obsession in their head. I'm not a whiny baby. And they need to know everything about my life. And the fact that I've had things hidden from you guys for the purposes of safety for months and months, they can't fucking stand it. You know, I used to be a guy that was 100% transparent and I shared everything with you. And now that I've got private stuff, oh my fucking God, that's it. They're going nuts, man. By the way, I really desperately need the money to help with my tax situation. So... Hint, hint. Save the house. They're going nuts. They're losing their shit. How dare he? How dare he have no information that he keeps from us? We need to find everything out. So what they're hoping for right now is that on this very moment that I'm going to reveal private information about my girlfriend to prove that she exists, to discredit this whole escort situation so that then they can get after her. That's what they want. They want me to give you her name. They want me to give you information about, you know, every, anything personal about her. So that they can grow right after. That's what they want. I'm not doing it. Because I'm not a fucking fool. I'm a brain dead idiot. And I need the game to be as easy as fucking possible for me to play. I'm not. The bottom line here is. Alright. That if you believe 100% slanderous speculation with zero factual evidence. You're a moron. All right, you are. You are a moron. I'm sorry, you are. Why am I toxic? More toxic, more toxic. You are gullible. You are fool. I mean, I don't know what else to say. You really need help. Because there's so much shit that goes on on planet Earth that's more important than any of this shit. Honestly, like, you know what I mean? And for the fact that people are, are obsessing about this shit, it's insane. It's unhealthy. It's unhealthy for you. You are really in a bad way. And you need to seek help. If this is what your main focus of your life is, 
you really have problems, okay? Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing on top of all of this, folks, which is hilarious to me anyway. Um, as I said, the whole thing's false. This morning, I've been talking with my girlfriend. Now, I didn't mention any of this stupid shit to her, because actually this happened after I stopped talking to her. I was talking to her all up to the point where I was setting up my stream, okay? And, you know, she's out and about doing stuff today. She's got a day off from work, and I'm talking to her about all the stuff she's doing and everything. And I'm like, you know, we're making plans. If I can get past this tax hump in January, that she can maybe move in with me in 2018. And I'm thinking to myself now, as all this is going on, man, people are going to feel incredibly fucking stupid pretty soon. Because if I can get past this tax issue, and, you know, let's say in the first half of the year, you know, she does move in with me, all right? She's obviously going to start showing up in videos. In fact, you know, there's a couple playthroughs coming up that maybe we could do co-op in. Obviously, when I do DSP Tries It, she's going to end up being a part of DSP Tries It. Okay? Um, you know what I mean? Like, she's going to be part of it. Now, am I going to give out all her personal information? No. But you're going to see her in my videos. You're going to know she exists. You're going to know she's real. It's, like, it's just a matter of time. You know what I mean? Um, and it's so hilarious to me because... You're going to be proven wrong. So all this stupidity that's happening is all going to be disproven. And I'm just like, how could you in your right mind act like this and not realize how dumb you're going to look so shortly? You know what I mean? I'm just like, <laughs> oh my god, I don't know. So anyway, let's put it this way, folks. Um, this whole thing is stupid. I actually feel bad because now apparently I've got a, someone who used to be, a, you know, someone who I trusted... Who is a mod who apparently now is out there spewing crap about Phil? Phil told me in a private message that his girlfriend uh, made him brownies, and that's evidence that you know that obviously it was the escort that made him brownies because the escort had posted two days earlier that she had made him Dutch recipe brownies, and now Phil said that they just made Ghirardelli brownies. But maybe that's a spin on it. Maybe she she added something to the Ghirardelli brownies to make them her own personal brownies, and I'm just like, what the fuck? Oh my fucking lord. I just don't get it anymore. I have a girlfriend. I've been dating her since the summer. I want her to move in with me in 2018. We love each other. But I've been protecting her from the internet because I know what would happen if her personal information got out on the internet in particular, especially if before she were to live here with me, what would happen if her information got out on the internet would be really bad. We saw what happened previously with my previous relationships and I'm very much wiser to the whole situation now, all right? There's a group of people who hate my guts and want to hurt me in every possible way. Alright? They've completely fabricated a story based off of zero facts. But only off of things that I've publicly shared about myself and my girlfriend and the time that I spent with her. They spun it into complete nonsense. Alright? And made up a completely fabricated story about an escort visiting me. And that I don't have any tax situation, but instead, I'm raising funds to pay for an escort. It's 100% false. I did something wrong and I'm a horrible person. It's based off of 0%. Unlike other things that people have said negatively about me in the past, it's based off of no factual evidence whatsoever. There's nothing that they've even spun. They literally just made it up out of thin air to make me look bad and so that things like, for example, my fundraiser tomorrow would be unsuccessful. All right? I feel sad for anyone who believes the stupidity of the stuff that people say with no factual evidence. I really do. And I feel bad, in particular, for this longtime fan of mine, uh, moderator of mine, who... Sadly, fell into the black hole of nonsense. I really do. I feel bad because that's terrible to live like that. It is. To just believe shit and... Because I... You know, and there's the other thing, too. So, apparently, I did mention these brownies or whatever. You know, on a stream. So, again, it's, it was public knowledge just to those who were here all the time. Who listened to my pre-streams or whatever. So, again, they took something that I said publicly that I revealed. And turned it into something that was supposed to be exclusive info. And then trying to basically fool me with a PM about a recipe, Right? It's nuts. And, you know, I'm not going to play these fucking games anymore. It's so stupid. Um, the all, Again, the only reason I'm bringing it up is because the whole stream chat this morning, before I even got to start talking about games or whatever, was talking about stupidity like this. It's just so dumb. Alright? It's out of control. So that being said, um, I'm done with it. I'm not going to address it anymore. Alright? It's stupid. It's complete stupidity. It's not grounds in any factual basis. There's no evidence of anything. Because there can't be evidence of anything. Because it's not true. That would be the thing, if I actually, like, if any of this were true, I'd obviously be running around desperately trying to cover information up. There's nothing to cover up. The whole thing's fake. 
There's no work for me to- I didn't even know about this until this morning, when my stream chat was overflowing with fucking idiots. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't know that any of this had happened, because I'm not paying attention to it, because it's all fake. It's all bullshit. It's so dumb. That's the deal. That's what's going on. The latest drama nonsense. It is garbage. Ignore it. If you're intelligent, you'll ignore it. These dumb people are so dumb. You gotta just fucking tell what's what. And stay with us here in reality on the fun gameplay streams. You know, and have fun with, with me every day. And, you know, if you're gullible and you want to go get sucked into the black hole of the anal sphincter of nonsense of the internet, go right ahead. I, I can't stop you. You know, if this is really how you want to live your life in the world of drama and speculation and, and rumor and nonsense that's based on no fact, go right ahead. I mean, I don't want you to. I'd rather have you have a happy, healthy life and, and be on streams with me and have fun. But I certainly can't stop you from doing stupid shit either. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I'm just a streamer on the internet. I just play games for, for a living. I have fun. And that's all it is. If people want to make shit up, they make shit up. Shout out! <laughs> Framework did a 500 bit series. The pre streams are what they thrive on. You might want to think about changing these in 20. No. What they thrive on is hurting me. This pre stream did not hurt me at all. Their nonsense is what hurt me. And the fact that people, like I said, my, like this person who was a, a longtime fan and friend of mine who helped me out with stuff and was a mod, that, the fact that that person believed their nonsense, that's what's hurting me. Not the fact that I talked about it on pre stream today. All right. Uh, uh. Oh my god, excuse me. Uh, and a baba booey to you. Just, uh, took me two bucks. You're an idiot. You paid me money. I said, the problem is you have a really bad habit of giving people info. No one needs to know if you have a girlfriend. It doesn't affect your business if we know or not. Well, that's true. But at the same time, when my girlfriend was here during her time visiting in December, we wanted to at least share a little bit of what we were doing. I wanted to show, oh, look, we baked cookies. Look, we're decorating the tree. And that was the thing. People wanted a tree, tree pictures and a tree vlog. But my girlfriend was here. So obviously I gotta admit that she exists, you know, and I'll be honest too, my girlfriend is upset because, you know, she's like, man, I really would like to be part of your life and, and reveal myself and, you know, uh, you know, but I can't, I know I can't because people will use that information right now to hurt me and it sucks, you know, she wants to be a part of everything, but she can't because she knows exposing her private info will hurt her until eventually she gets to a point in her life where maybe she can live with me and then it doesn't matter because we live together, it's all going to be shared info anyway, you know what I mean? Burn in hell, Burnell. And now I'm going to burn in hell for the rest of eternity because of it. You can't change who you are, I guess. Wow, shout out to Planet Jeff, who just pledged $20 to my Patreon. <laughs> Thanks for the money, stupid fuck. And we're very close, folks. If only a few more people pledged, we could do it today. We could do it on this stream. We could hit the funding goal and, uh, and basically say, okay, we're in the clear for tier one. Now let's push towards tier two. All right. It's greed. It's greed. Greed is massively strong. I have no fucking self-control. Gucci the Jacuzzi did a 50-bit cheer. This is an interesting one. It says, I've been on both sides of hating and loving what you are and what you do. That being said, anyone with common sense can tell that making accusations against someone without any concrete proof is a stupid fucking thing to do. And even if you had an escort, why do people care so much about your relationships and sex life quite disturbing? Well, first of all, I'm just going to say it once again. I didn't have an escort. I've never paid for the companionship of a woman ever in the, my entire life. That's ludicrous to me. Because I've had luck in my life with women. I have popularity. What the fuck? Are you fucking serious? So I'm just confirming that. But, um, yeah, these people are fucked. I don't know what else to say. They're fucked in the head. Anyone who literally their existence on YouTube is based around trying to get private information about me and my life now that I'm not revealing a lot of stuff about it is nuts. It's just that simple. There's no other explanation. There's no other justification. They're fucking nuts. Oh, co listen to this one. Oh, cock Zox did a 50 bit cheer and asked, do I still use protection? Oh, it's, it's gross. I heard people stop once they hit their thirties due to lower testosterone and low pregnancy risk. That could be the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. If you actually believe that, <laughs> oh, when you're 30, you don't have to use the condom anymore. You are, that's wow. You are going to have a horrible mistake happen. <laughs> what pasta do you prefer? I prefer a penne. Oh! Easy to eat. Oh! Phil's a faggot. Phil's fat. Phil's a loser. Phil's a beggar. DSP is a pedophile. DSP is a thief. DSP is a greedy fuck. I have a micro penis. <laughs> Alright, I'm not dead, but I swear to god I wish I fucking was.